another step into a beautiful dream. Another dream to be shared over time. Another time in an ever-changing world. Another world to be created by you. Just know that I love you and Papa will always protect you. Just something he's always said to me as a child. God bless you both, Papa and Doris. After that, you're gonna face the guests. Everyone's gonna be clapping. Andrea, from the day I met you at that small cozy bar in downtown Seattle, I knew there was something special about you. At first, I wasn't sure what it was, but over time, I learned many things about you that made me fall in love. Your love for the outdoors has pushed us to climb some of the most beautiful mountains in the world. Your love of travel has taken us from coast to coast and beyond. And I truly fell in love with you the day you put your first set of skis on. <laughs> Andrea, I look forward to many years of happiness with you. I'm looking forward to all of our adventures together whether it's trekking through the woods, skiing in Arlie Kular, or watching movies late into the night. I don't care what it is we're doing, as long as you're by my side. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. Love makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved in, in ways that you dare not risk alone. Hello. You look great. Was that one good? That looks awesome. Bye-bye. I didn't see the back. I did not see the back. It's nice. Thank you for doing that. Mm-hmm. Yes. I forget to do Oh, flower in my face. You have to lean. You have to go oh. this way. <laughs> okay, so don't do this because I'm going to have like rose like in my eye. And... Jeff. I love you, and I honestly don't know how I ever got so lucky to find you. I love that I go into every day knowing that I have you to support me. I also really love that you'll ski to the edge or check out a run and assess before I make an attempt at it. I know you'd never set me up for anything but success on the mountain or in life. And for that, I trust you with all that I am. I promise to love you for the rest of my life and make our marriage the greatest adventure yet. By the power vested in me by the church and by the state and by the power in your own love and with the blessings of your family and friends, we now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. If you didn't catch it, um, a couple hours ago, we were all mingling outside and you were wondering why the ceremony wasn't starting. Um, our officiant didn't show up tonight and my good friend Tom Brown here um, stood in for him without any warning. Thank you, Tom. Yes. And, and we didn't have enough time to really plan the full introduction, so just a quick intro introduction. I know Jeff and Andrea um, through all their adventures that they've done, and last year we climbed Rainier together, and so I feel like it was an honor and also very fitting. I've seen them at their, their greatest strengths and maybe a bit of a weakness on Rainier, very slight. But, but we got, yeah, we didn't have to cut any ropes, but we got to the top together, so it was an absolute honor, really, to be part of this tonight more than I had planned to be. Congratulations again.
On behalf of the entire Bride's family, I'd like to take this opportunity to formally welcome Jeff, my new brother-in-law, into our family. You've been with Andrea long enough to know what you're getting yourself into. But I do thank you. Now she finally has somebody else with which she can turn everything into a competition with. From the first day I got to spend time with Andrea and Jeff to the events taking place here this weekend, you guys have consistently brought out the best in each other and bettered everyone around you. Here's to a life full of love and happiness. I wish you nothing but the best. To the bar. So Jeff and I, we first met back at Montana State. He was the only guy in the dorms, I think, that had a blender, constantly having margaritas going. And like, behind closed doors, you'd hear this whirring of a motor. We're like, we gotta know this guy. You know, again, with Andrea coming into the picture, we were a little jealous at first. But between, you know, his extremeness, whether or not it's, you know, mountain biking and hucking off jumps, whether or not it's skiing and charging down mountains or hiking and backpacking up in the woods or a combination of all three like you know with us hiking up right here and skiing down like it's always been great times i know andrea's going to be in good hands she'll be entertained you guys are going to enjoy lots of adventures together and you know again despite us having a little thing first you know i think you guys are going to be genuinely truly and deeply in love forever and so with that i give you guys Nothing more but peace, love, and happiness, and here's to you forever, Jeff and Andrea. So, when Andrea graduated from Penn State, she went on a trip to Europe, and that's where she met Grant. So, a few months later, and a move to Seattle, Grant calls up Andrea, and he's like, hey, I'm coming to town. Would you want to come out and meet me for a beer? And so Andrea's like, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. And Grant brings along Jeff. So Andrea's chit-chatting with Jeff, and she's like, oh yeah, I'm an engineer, blah, blah, blah. So Jeff comes up and he's like, oh, okay. You're an engineer, what's your favorite math principle? <laughs> so Andrea tells me all this, and I'm like, man, what kind of pickup line is that? But it obviously blossomed into a very beautiful love story. I would just like to end with a quote from Nikki Giovanni. We love because it's the only true adventure. One, two, three. Uh. Oh, <laughs> you have to make the noises. Oh, I'm grunting. Yeah, girl. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Wow, look at these. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is like the start, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, what what is it? It's like <laughs> oh, yeah. it's Oom, snap, bop, no, wait. Loom. left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Too hard. Uh, I lost the uh, suspenders.